Hello, how are you guys? Hi, Ale. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hey. Hey. You look better today. Oh, I'm yes, glad. Definitely. <laughs> Yesterday was a completely disaster. You know what? I don't yeah. know what had happened to me, but 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 I think you know what? I'm sorry to let you know to be sincere, but after I cut off from you, I I throw out. Oh. Yes, I don't know what. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know what? It's everybody got sick. Headache. No, everybody got yeah. sick, including the pets. <laughs> yeah. I that, think it's a... I think it's something that we ate on uh, the lunch time. Yeah, yeah. Because be. also my husband felt sick, but mm. it, it, he didn't throw out. But in my case, yes. I I, yeah. I I was like shaking by the time I was explaining to you. I, my feet and my and my hands were like really really cold, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have a tremendous head out here in the front forehead. And after I finished with you, I went to the bathroom and threw out everything. Oh, Ugh. but you know what? I know I, I don't like to do that thing because I hate it, especially something after that your sore throat is yeah. really it, it gets like hurts, right? But well. The body is really like, what can I say? It has been created so perfectly that um, if something is not good in your in your metabolism, in your body, you need to throw it out. Either yeah, up when... or down, whatever it is, but you have to throw it out, right? <laughs> yeah, and after that, you know what? After that, I just start feeling much better. Oh, my, that's nice. Because my mm -hmm. uh, head, I were like downloading, downloading, downloading. And I put some ointment, some Chinese ointment that my mama gave me. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the name of that Chinese ointment. Yes, but I put it, you know what? I put just a little bit, a little bit here, a little bit here and here. And I started doing the messages. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. It was magic. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was Chilin. Chilin, I think is the name of that. Chilin. Chilin? Yeah. The, mm. You know what? That is was an, an ancient, an ancient medication. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Never I heard. Yeah, I know because it was really ancient. Imagine me. I'm older than you, <laughs> but but it, you know what? Nowadays, it's really hard to find it. I think you can only find it in a drugstore that they're like an old drugstores. Oh. Uh huh. Because it is really weird. Uh, most of the time they come in like a little red thing with um, Chinese letter, but this one mm -hmm. that my mama gave me is like coming like a little um, white and green, a mm -hmm. little bag, but it still has Chinese letters. So that is powerful. <laughs> I don't know what That's it is. <laughs> yeah, but I put some here, some here, and here, and after that, in like. I think it was 15 and 20 minutes. I didn't have headache anymore. Oh, so I'm glad to hear really, it. <laughs> oh, yes, me too. You know what? I've been without having me that kind of headache over a year. Because I'm trying to yeah. eat healthy just to avoid feeling bad, right? And, but I, mm. I don't know what happened to me yesterday, but I was like... Ugh. <laughs> yeah it was really really awful and i hate that because sometimes my sinus problems combinates with my head and that is a completely disaster uh, mm -hmm. and i i think so also because yesterday it was really hot really really hot yeah so i think yeah, that contributes days. a lot mm -hmm. yeah mm. i don't know why and now i feel really good because i already took a shower <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> after, yeah. after. Hey, come on, how, Ali. How many days? Come on. Ali, don't be I'm so sorry, mean. Sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. but you're true. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I remember that um, the, grand, the grandfather of my mom used to mm. say, um, La Cascara Guardel Palo. Uh huh. Yeah. No. You know what that means, that right? Means, no, no. That means that uh, well, if you do not take a shower so frequently, <laughs> you mm -hmm. you uh, that will keep you safely and healthy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that means well, I will took I will take that really literally, <laughs> especially in cold <laughs> weather. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? That's really I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, that when you are have a white skin. 
it, it is mm -hmm. really weird that not that you are that you are like not clean because mm -hmm. the black the black guys and the brown guys uh it's really yeah. easy that you identify that, <laughs> that that people doesn't have to take a shower right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that's why i love to be white <laughs> <laughs> the teacher is crazy yes now i'm feeling much better and totally different from yesterday <laughs> yeah, yeah we can't know it <laughs> you cannot is that yeah i feel yeah. it to be honest with you i feel it and mr chestnut is here with me as well yeah and it's uh, and he's okay too now he's feeling much better. Yes, he already uh, have his breakfast, his lunch, his dinner, and also, <laughs> you know, the the coffee break as well. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> fancy. He, <laughs> yeah, he loves quesadillas. Oh. <laughs> yeah, every time that the quesadillas girl passes through, Whiskey and Chestnut are the first one in front of the garage waiting for her. But I'm not going to buy quesadillas every day. If not, they will be like sumos, right? <laughs> no way. No, no, no. But they love yeah. it. And, and, my, and whiskey, this is the... Hey, guys, but for the new one, sorry. Uh, Ivan, Juan, uh, Iris, Sonia, Vanessa, Maria, Listen, Janet, and Grecia. Whiskey and chestnuts are my pets, right? I'm my dogs. <laughs> so <laughs> I will give you in context, right? So going back to business. <laughs> okay. So whiskey <laughs> starts singing like... Oh, <laughs> like that and he's you know what this is not because he's like uh trying to imitate the, the girl's voice right it's because it's the way that he asked for his quesadillas oh. like, ooh, like that <laughs> yes yeah, so said mama wanted yeah you know what they love it i they think it's, to buy quesadillas yeah i think it's the, <laughs> the favorite dessert i think so oh. Hey guys, talking. Let's going back to business. Let me ask you. And uh, did you do your homework, by the way? Yeah. Yay! I did. Ah, very good. Who wants to participate? Thank you so much, Iris. Go ahead. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's your turn, my girl. Go ahead. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> good. Very good. Excellent. Um, and uh, yeah. first, the first one, I don't want to have a problem with no funny, funny. Uh -huh. Who is not funny? Very good. Uh -huh. um, number two, an enjoy teacher who make interesting class. Okay, thank you. <laughs> number three, I prefer roommate who is clean. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Come with me. Number four, I don't like to be with people that are boring. Boring. Number five, I discuss my problem with friends who are very close to me. Mm -hmm. Number six, I like to have a boss who is not angry. <laughs> me too. And, and I'm not lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I like to meet people that are very interesting. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Excellent. Who's who's laughing, Ivan? <laughs> Great job. Very good. Very good, Irene. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, Mr. Ivan. Mr. Ivan wants to participate. Go ahead. Let's listen to you, sir. What you have for us. Hey. I was hey. laughing about your, your boss, but it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's nice. He's nice. All right. I'm just teasing. No, he's nice. Really nice. Okay. Should I read the, the sentences? Yeah, whatever you please. Go ahead. Okay. It says, I don't want to have a partner who isn't loyal. Okay. Yes, definitely. I enjoy teachers who really cares about their students. I prefer a roommate who is really tidy. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to be with people who cares about them too much. Okay. I discuss my problems with friends who are good listeners. 
I'd like to have a boss who understands my circumstances. Very good, me too. Mm -hmm. And I like to meet people who has interesting topics to talk about. Yeah, that's really interesting, Ivan. Very good. Hey, guys, I want you, every time that the classmate participates, please, guys, pay attention because I want you guys to identify if you do have ideas in common, okay? Very good. Beatrice, thank you, Ivan. What about you, Beatrice? What do you have for us? Ah, we cannot hear you. <laughs> I'm you sorry, go. teacher. I, I don't have the homework. You don't have that homework. Ah, yeah. ah, <laughs> but you're supposed to do it yesterday at, uh, when you were together, right? Yes, yes. But I don't have. Use your imagination. At least give me the first two. <laughs> do your best. I know I, you can do it. I don't want. I don't want to have a partner who is uh, very disorganized. Okay. 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 Who's not I I enjoy teacher who is very active. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer a roommate who is quiet. Mm -hmm. I don't like to be with people who is not sincerely sincere. 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 Mm -hmm. sincere. Mm -hmm. I discuss my problems with friends who are um, empath empathic. 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 Mm -hmm. empathic. I'd like to have a boss who is not angry. <laughs> Everybody, right? <laughs> I like to meet people who, 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 I don't know. I, I, who, I don't know. Who are as crazy as me, you can who say. Who think, who think like me. Uh, who thinks, okay, very good. Thinks, <laughs> who thinks like me. Mm -hmm. Thinks. Mm -hmm. People is like third person. Yes. yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> no, 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 no. How you oh. say that? How ah. you say when you finish? What's the word? That. That you, uh, what? Pale? That's it. Exactly. That's, it. That's hey, it. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Okay. <laughs> very good. Very good. Good try. Good try, Beatrice. Excellent. Okay. Let's listen to Janet. Janet, what do you have for us? Janet, Janet, Miss Janet, I'd like to see you. I think we used to, we do have a problem here, right? That could be. Yeah. Okay, hey. present, good evening. Let's listen hey. to you, what you have for us for the homework. Hey, wait me a second, we'll choose yeah. the picture. Okay, <laughs> you will search for that. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't want to have a partner who don't care about me. Who don't care or who doesn't care about you? Doesn't care. Very about good. Me. Excellent. I enjoy teachers who explain very well to a student. Okay. I like that. Um, part. I prefer a roommate who is very cleaner. Okay. Who's very clean. Okay. I don't like to be with people who don't enjoy the moment. Mm hmm. I discuss my problem with friends who listen to me every moment. So you you like you like to discuss discuss okay discuss okay mm -hmm. I I discuss my problem. Mm -hmm. And I like to have a boss who 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 it's in sequence, right? Um, if you have no comment, no um, comment. <laughs> no comment. No comments. Okay, no comments. <laughs> okay, skip I that. I like to meet people who, who love to go to everywhere. Who loves to loves. go everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? That's it. That's it? Very good. Excellent. Ale, what about you? What do you have for us? Uh, 
I have the same sentence ah, that I always have because we were we were together you yesterday. You were together. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So you um, have the, the things in common. All right, very good. Uh, uh, okay, mm. so you are safe by Iris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Gracia? What you have for us, girl? Hi, teacher. Uh, okay, the first. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with this person. Ah, ah yeah, 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 very good, very good. Leave it like that way. You, you don't want to have a partner who you do who don't have something in common with. with Leave it like that. With, with just it with. Mm -hmm. With because if you said person, only. you will be uh, repeating the word partner. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. Excellent. Go ahead. Uh, the second, mm -hmm. I enjoy teaches who the people, mm -hmm. who the people are organized. Okay. Hey, what about the teachers? You forgot the teacher part. I enjoy teachers. Ah, teachers or teachers? Teachers. Teach. Ah, teach. Okay. Teach. Mm -hmm. Who the people are organized. Okay. Third, I I prefer a roommate who I prefer I see I prefer a roommate who this person is quiet. Who is quiet? Okay, the same as Beatrice. Okay, very good. Four, I don't like to be with people be, who these people have a good sense of humor. So you don't like to be with people who don't have a who, sense of humor? Who don't have a good sense of humor. Ah, okay. Who doesn't have a sense of humor. Okay, very good. Okay. Five, I discuss my problem, my problems with friends who who are warm mm -hmm. and sensitive. Oh, okay, very good. Six, I'd like to have a boss mm -hmm. who has good leadership qualities. Very good, okay. And seven, mm -hmm. I like to meet people. I like to meet people mm -hmm. who who, who have, uh, no, it's a, who has, it's a, who has a, a social, the, who is sociable, who is sociable, sociable, very good, excellent, oh. excellent job, very good, very good, okay, today, guys, thank you, very good, Grecia, Juancito, what about you. you, the best, what you have for us, my man? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. I feel a, I feel a little confused because Why? I did, I didn't I I didn't tell me about this this homework. You were not supposed uh, to be in class, come on. Yeah. I, <laughs> right now I was um checking out the checking out the homework you sent. Well, they were supposed to do it yesterday when you were uh, working together. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, right now I check it out. The... <laughs> <laughs> okay, do your best. Give me just the first one and the second one. Do your best. Do your best. Give the best for you. Um, Dalo mejor de ti. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey I, 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 did I pronounce it correctly? Did I say it correctly in Spanish? Dalo mejor de ti. Yeah, it was good. Juancito, you have to congratulate me. Please come on. <laughs> <laughs> say bravo, teacher. Woo -woo. All right. Okay. Ah, I only say, yeah, bravo to me, okay? And everybody's like, eh. okay. Okay, Juancito. Yeah, thank you, Bea. Thank you. All right, Juancito, just give me the first and the second sentence. Do your best. Okay. Um, 
I don't want to have a partner. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. You don't want to have a partner who? I don't know. Who, you don't know, you know. What? I don't want to let. Sorry. No, 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 don't worry. Let. That's okay. Take your time. I want to have a partner. Mm. How, mm. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Who I have nothing in common with. Very good. You see, you could do a very good one, Sita. Great job, right. my man. All right. What about number two? Give me the second one. And the second one is um, I enjoy teacher. Mm. Who is um, organized. Who is organized? Yeah. Okay, you see, Ooh, you could do it. Congratulations, Juancito. <laughs> Excellent job, my man. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, okay. we will continue learning things and I'm, re I'm really proud of you. Very good job, guys. Excellent. So now Thanks. we're going to continue and uh, for you to like express yourself more. And for example, um, to talk about uh, people that you like, for example, to talk about your best friend, to talk about your husband, uh, your wife, whatever, uh, you will be able to do it like the way that you did it right now. But also guys, I want to share with you more information, more adjectives that you are able to use when you would like to describe somebody. Oh, yeah, to so somebody that you will hang up with, like the thing that you have done right now. For example, there are more information that you can use, either positive adjectives or negative adjectives, okay? I wanna share it right now with you. And then we're going to practice that pronunciation, which is really important. Let me check it out really quickly for you. And let me share it right now on my screen. Do me a favor, let me know if you're able to see it. Are you able to see it, my friends? Yep. Or no? Yeah, teacher, yeah. Okay. Yes, everybody? Like oh, everybody? Yes. Okay, yes, cool. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, guys. It's blurry. It's blurry? Who said it's blurry? Me, Ivan. Mr. Ivan, is it not clear for you? Nope. No, okay. So don't worry about it. I'm going to do something right now. And I will send it through the WhatsApp, okay? So everybody will have it. Thank you. You're more than welcome. It's been a pleasure. All righty. Okay, bear with me for a moment. There you go. Who's singing, by the way? I don't know who's singing. Okay, did you guys receive it by any chance? Yep or no? Yes, thank you. Cool, yes. you're welcome. All right, yes. guys. So let's practice right now the pronunciation. Okay, repeat after me. Easy going. Easy going. Egotistical. Egotistical. Unflexible. Unflexible. Modest. Modest. Sociable. Sociable. Stingy. Supportive. Supportive. Temperamental. Temperamental. Unreliable. 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 Before we go so far, guys, can you please let me know if from one to nine, from these adjectives, um, is there something that you don't know what doesn't mean? No? Egotistical. Egotistical. Stingy. Okay, stingy. Okay. Yep. Egotistical is somebody that has an hyper ego that also wants to just talk about her or him and all the things that she or he does. 
You got it? Okay, okay. Okay. And stingy. Okay, it's stingy. I will I will I will use my images. The stingy. Oh. Uh-huh. Exactly. Right. Stingy. Right. That that is perfectly clear, oh. right? Stingy. Yeah. Okay. Clear like water. Yeah. No, no doubts about it, right? <laughs> All right. Clear like water, right? Thank Ivan? I, yes, Juancito, go oh, ahead. Who oh, I can say this part? Ah, uh, that is an elbow. Elbow. Elbow, elbow. yes. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. You. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, there's another word that you that it was really new for you. Another characteristic that is new. Besides a stingy easy going. Easy going. That means that that person is really friendly, that makes friends easily yes. because of the way that uh, the okay. person it is, right? Bye. <laughs> what Vanessa? Okay. What do you say? Bye. Exactly. You're right. Bye. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes. It's exactly like that. Jabadero. Yes. Okay. Any other word, guys? Any other adjective that is brand new for you? Or oh, everything is okay? Is everything okay? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, guys, let's turn it back to the adjective that we were double checking. And I want you guys to let me know which ones are positive and which ones are negative. Okay? So bear with me for a moment. Okay. Ooh, there you go. All right. Easy going. Is it positive or negative, guys? Positive. Positive. All right. What about positive. egotistical? Positive. Negative. 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 Unflexible. Negative. negative. Modest. Positive. 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 Sociable. Positive. Positive. Stingy. Negative. 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 Supportive. Positive. 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 Uh, temperamental. Negative. 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 Unreliable. Negative. 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 Very good. Now you already identify which ones are positive, which ones are negative. Um, I want you guys to pronounce everybody without my help. The pronunciation from one to nine, okay? Repeat after. Okay, okay. one, two, three, go. The first one, please. Easy going. Easy going. Continue. Go ahead. How you pronounce the number five again, please? So sociable, very good, exactly. Sociable. Number six. Singing. Singing. Uh -uh. Singing. No. Singing. Singing. No. Okay. Tiny. Let me go back. Okay. Tiny. Number five. Listen to me. Sociable. Sociable. Look at my mouth and open it widely. Sociable. Sociable. Excellent. Very good, Iris. Sociable. Sociable. Right. Maybe you're exaggerating, but it will help you. Sociable. 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 Okay, Juancito, sociable. Sociable. No, Juancito. <laughs> okay, Juancito, don't so help him. Very good. Give me top five, my man. Okay, now, yes, Beatrice, now you. <laughs> sociable. Excellent. Iris, what about you? Sociable. Excellent. Very good. Gracia, what about you? Sociable. Excellent. Ale. Sociable. Excellent. Ivan. Sociable. Excellent. Janet. Sociable. Excellent. Bonnie. Sociable. Very good. Noria. Sociable. Very good. And Mariana. Sociable. Excellent. The other one, Stingy. 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 No, no, it's stingy. Oh. Because if you put it that E, and you see that this is not E, it's just oh. S T I N G. Why, right? Stingy. So, so you don't have to pronounce a stingy, you know. Re remember, like, stingy. the flag that is giving stingy. the earth. Stingy. Stingy. Look at my, my mouth and my teeth. Stingy. 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 Open your mouth and show me your teeth. Stingy. 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 Very good. Show me your white teeth, like Colgate, right? Stingy. 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 Stingy
TNG. <laughs> All righty, very good. Maybe it's exaggerating, but then you will come up easily. You see, stingy. 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 Very good. Ivan? Stingy. I want to hear you. Stingy. Again? Stingy. Very good. Okay, uh, Beatrice? Stingy. No, again. Stingy. There you go. Now I listen to the S. Very good. Iris, go ahead. Stingy. Again. Stingy. 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 No, I want I want to listen to the S. Stingy. Stingy. Very good. Okay, Juancito. Stingy. Again. Stingy. Stingy. Very good. Okay, stingy. Ale. Stingy. Very good. Thank you for your Colgate. <laughs> All right, Gracia, what about you? Stingy. Excellent. Uh, my girl, Mariana. Stingy. Very good. Janet. Stingy. Very good. Vane. Stingy. Very good. Marielos. Marielos. Marielitos. Hey, Marielos. What happened to her? Houston, do we have a problem here, right? <laughs> That's true. Okay, let's leave Mariela's right now. What about you, Mercy? <laughs> and Ivan is crazy. <laughs> Stingy. Very good. And Noria? And it's stingy. 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 Very good. I know that is hard, right? Hard to pronounce. Yeah. yeah. But never forget it. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, listen, what will be your homework? Your homework for tomorrow, because you already know how to use the relative pronouns as a subject, right? And now you have more vocabulary to describe people's personality. So what I want you to do is to tomorrow do a little bit paragraph. And I want you guys to uh, talk about your best friend, if you have it. And if not, you can talk about um, your friends in common because sometimes uh, we don't have a specific friend that is our friend, right? A best friend. We have a lot of friends that have like qualities or characteristics in common. So you can talk about it. For example, you can say Andrea, for example, Andrea is a person who, and then you start giving that characteristic, right? Remember that, uh, relative pronouns as subjects, we use who and that, okay? And if you're going to use about an adjective, we need to use the verb to be, remember that? Who is, and you continue, okay? It will be just a little bit paragraph, just for maybe three lines, maximum five, okay? Juanzito, do you understand? Okay. Or don't tell me I know teacher, I forgot the count work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay okay very good excellent okay now guys that we already have practiced that and uh, we haven't seen um the relative pronouns as a subject right that's what we're going to do right now and it's ear is easy peasy queasy like a piece of cake like or charano like water okay <laughs> yes <laughs> and, and this one is really interesting because as far guys as you know which are the worst in English that help that is a, that are pronouns it will be easily for you to understand okay so now let me share my screen with you and let's continue with that topic because it's really important that you learn that but before I move on so far so good any questions right now are we good yes like water yes, okay yeah. definitely like water. like water okay can you see my screen guys Ivan, can you see it? Yes, oh, it's still yeah. blurry. Yeah. It's still blurry, okay. I believe that you need to uncheck the option mm -hmm. that says optimization. Okay, I will do it. But let me, let me do it right now. Let me send it you right now for everybody, just in case. Okay. Did you receive it? Yes. Okay. Yes. What about now, Ivan? Can you check my screen if it's much better? Yes, it's Is this better much now. better? Thank you. Okay. Better. okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Okay, so I want you guys to take a look, first of all, uh, this part. 
the left the left side yes okay take a look at this we have uh, two sentences right we have the first sentence here and then we have the second sentence Okay, guys, I have I try to make it clear and use a different color just for you to understand. So this is the first part. I like the type of friends. Clear, right? The second part, I can trust them. So guys, the word them, that one is equal to friends. Is that right or no? Yeah, right. Is it right? Okay. Does everybody understand right now? Hello. Can you repeat, please? Yes, of course. I like the type of friends. Okay, friends is a, is a noun, right? Okay. Yes. One idea. I can trust them. Okay, when I'm using them, I'm talking about friends. Is that correct or no? Guys, yes. yes or yes. no? Okay. Are you clear? Yes? Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay, right, okay. Teacher. That's what I want to know. Okay, oh. guys. Okay, so, but what I want you to focus on is because I have two ideas, right? I like to type of friends, period. I can trust them. Tem them is a pronoun, but this one is substitutes the word friends, right? But you know that I'm talking about the same the same person, the same subject. Okay, now guys, take a look at the second sentence because this is the one that I want you to focus on. Take a look at this one. Let me ask you guys, in sentence number one and in sentence number two, in which sentence I have a pronoun? In the first one or in the second one? In which one? In that second one. In the second one. What is the pronoun? Them. 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 Okay. So that means, guys, that is the one that I'm going to work with. Okay. And I'm going to the one I'm going to work with and find out which word or which part of the second sentence I'm going to scratch it and substitute for either who or that. Okay. So take a look. In this second sentence, I have a subject and I have an object. We can read it. Uh, Alejandro, can you please read for me the second sentence? The one that has uh, an orange color? I can't trust them. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ale. In that sentence, guys, I can trust them. Which is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Which is the subject? I. I. I, exactly. And what is the object? Them. Them. That means, guys, that this is the thing or this is the one I'm going to substitute because this is a relative pronoun as an object. So this is the one that I'm going to scratch it. And how is how am I going to combine these two ideas into one? Take a look. Take a look at this one. I like the type of friends. You see, I leave it exactly the same information of the first sentence, but I need to scratch them, right? Because I cannot repeat them. So that means that I'm going to substitute for who. I like the type of friends who I can trust, period. Do you got it? Yeah. Yes. Is easy peasy queasy or will you want me to repeat it? For me, it's fine. Repeat it, please, teacher. Okay. Okay, I can repeat it, not a problem. So guys, take a look at here. What is exactly the information about these two that I'm going to use to become or to become one sentence? Okay, I don't, I'm going to scratch them because as you remember, this is an object of the second sentence. This is a pronoun and this one is referring to a friends. So if I use them and friends two times, it's not going to be good because I cannot, I cannot use these two words two times. I need to use it only one time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the same exactly first part of the sentence. I like the type of friends. Okay, 
Then I'm going to substitute the word them for who or that. So in this case, I'm going to put who. And I need to continue with my idea. So I'm going to put the rest of the sentence. I can trust, period. Is it clear, Mariana? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Now, guys, take drop a look at the, the second one. Yes, go drop ahead. The, drop the object. Mm -hmm. the... Exactly. Yes. Drop the object, exactly. That's why this one, guys, is different from the subject or the one that we already mm -hmm. have learned. It's different. Okay, mm -hmm. now take a look at the second one. I want friends, <laughs> period. Mm -hmm. I can depend on them. As exactly the same, them substitutes or all the word friends, but this is a pronoun, right? And the second sentence, I, of course, is continue the subject and the object is them. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. I will combine the two ideas. I'm gonna scratch them because I'm not, I don't have to repeat the same idea twice. And I'm going to substitute for the pronoun that or who, depends. So how is it goes? Uh, Janet, can you please read for me that mm -hmm. sentence? The one that has that? Yeah. The one that says, I want friends, that one. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I want friends that I can depend on. Very good. Do me a favor. Read it again, but okay. without the word that. Uh, I want friend. Sorry, don't understand what you say about that. Yes, okay. You know that it's in parentheses, right? Yes. Okay, so I want you to read it again, the same sentence that you have read, but don't pronounce the word that. For example, I want friends. Mm -hmm. Continue, go ahead. I can depend on. Very good. So let me ask you, okay. if I if I take out the word that, does it change the meaning? Yes or no? Uh, no change. Okay, exactly. What about the first one? Can you please read for me again the the second the first sentence with who? Mm -hmm. uh, I like the type of friends who I can trust. Who I can trust. Trust. Mm -hmm. Now read it without who. I like the type of the friend I can trust. There, I can trust. I can exactly. Trust. So as you see, guys, when we're using relative pronouns as, as objects, we can use them or we cannot use them. And the meaning doesn't change. So those are optionals. But it's really important that you under, that you know how to do it. So let, I, or I also put this one here because this is really important, guys, that you never forget. If don't say this, I like friends who they are sincere. No, because if you are using who, you, you are not going to use the pronoun anymore. Okay? The correct way to say it is I like friends who are sincere. You see? You don't use the pronoun. The pronoun is not here. What about the next one? I like friends that I can go out with. Don't say I can go out with them because you don't have to repeat the same idea twice. Is it clear or no? It's clear. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is you like, yeah, it's easy peasy queasy, right? Piece of cake. Ah, yes, teacher, for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Yeah, you see how it's different? Because remember, guys, that pronouns, relative pronouns are subjects. You cannot, you can you don't have who and that as option. You must use it, right? Because if not, it won't make sense. But relative pronouns as objects, you can use them or you cannot use them. And the meaning, it doesn't change. But I, I tried to like give you that example because I want you guys to identify uh, when you have that information, the two ideas and which part of the sentence you have to scratch it and substitute for either who or which, or sorry, or that. Yeah. Now you have it, you got it, yeah? 
Juancito. I got it. Are you sure? Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Is it clear or I, there's something that I, you don't you're not clear about? It's not clear. Is it clear? Like water? Yes. Or like tamarindo? Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, carry on. <laughs> like Sabana. All right. Very good. Iris, what about you? Iris, is everything's clear? Yeah. Ivan, do you have any any um, any doubts about it? Ivan, Mercy, Mariana, Vane? No. All no. Good. good. Thanks no. for asking. All righty, all righty. Okay. Ale, Beatriz, everything, everybody. Woo -hoo. Okay. So let's continue. Now, guys, uh, so you already know that. Okay. Now, guys, let's practice the listening part. And what I'm gonna do right now, because we're going to practice the listening. Um, you're going guys to listen to three people talking. Three, so it will be three conversations. And in each conversation, then we'll mention one name. Okay. So what I want you to do, because we're going to practice the listening part right now, uh, I just want you guys to listen if they uh, express positive things or negative things about the person. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's the only thing that I need. I'm going to play it a second time, and then I'm going to ask you something else. But now we're going to focus on the listening part for a specific information. Okay, so all that I want you to do is to listen if they said positive things or negative things about the person. Okay, you got it? Cool? Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Yes. okay all righty, all righty. So let me just a couple of minutes. Okay, cool. Let me share right now my screen with you. Page four. Can you listen? Yeah? Yes. yes. Cool. Exercise yes. five, listening. What are they like? Part A, listen to conversations that describe three people. Are the descriptions positive, P, or negative, N? Check the box. One, Andrea. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. 2. James Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Three, Mr. Johnson. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. 
Okay, guys. Very good. Was it tough a little bit? Okay. Mm. A little bit, mm. right? Okay, let's double check what you got. I have Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. Okay, so do me a favor, guys. About Andrea, what you could catch or what you what you could understand, uh, did they say something bad, bad, bad uh, things or positive things about her? Bad things. Bad things, bad things. okay, bad things. very good. Okay, what about James? Positive. 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 Very good. What about Mr. Johnson? Negative. 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 All right. Very good. Now, guys, the second part that we're going to listen once again, I want you guys now to pay attention on one thing. I want you to think about two adjectives that describes each person. Okay. And that was different. Okay, that was like easy one, right? Positive or negative. Now I want you guys to pay attention about two adjectives that describes James, Andrea, and Mr. Johnson. Okay, <laughs> only two. They will sometimes they mention more than two, but I don't I don't need a lot. I just need two per conversation. Doesn't matter if they're positive or negative. Okay. Yeah. Uh Okay. okay. You can say Andrea becomes egotistical. <laughs> Wait a <I> minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay and you have. <laughs> and you have to remember that the adjectives that we already practiced. Remember, egotistical, uh, unreliable, right? Remember that. Sociable, stingy, right? Okay. So I want you guys to try to identify if they mentioned that on the on the conversation or not. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Ready? Yeah, mm -hmm. ready. Are yes. you guys ready? Yes. Yeah, ready. yeah. Okay, that's the spirit that I need. Energy. All righty. So uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share it right now with them. Two adjectives per person. That's the only thing that I need. Okay. Here you go. Page four, exercise five. Listening. What are they like? Part A. Listen to conversations that describe three people. Are the descriptions positive, E, or negative, N? Check the box. 1. Andrea. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well... College can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. 2. James Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties. And there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Three. Mr. Johnson. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, 
He never actually does it. He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. All righty. So let's go back. Eight. Okay. Who can mention two adjectives that describes Miss Andrea? Go ahead, Ale. What do you have for us? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I think, um, yeah, egotistical and mm -hmm. annoying. And annoying. Okay. Are you agree with Ale, guys, or you have something else for Andrea? Yeah. Yes, Gracia. Go ahead. I I listening and Andrea is someone who who is egotistical uh -huh. and sting, stingy. Stingy. <laughs> are you are you agree, Iris? Iris is like yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Do you have something else different, Juancito or Ivan? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ivan. What do you have for Andrea? I would say she is selfish since mm -hmm. the girl said that was the opposite of generous. Okay, very good. Thank you. Opposite of generous, that means? Yep. Stingy, right? <laughs> yeah, Stingy. very good. Excellent. Okay, now let's move on to Mr. James. What about Mr. James? No, Mr. Johnson, James. What do you have for James, Janet? Janet. Shh. Where is Janet, by the way? Where is she? <laughs> I think she has moved. Or maybe she has gone and drink some water. Okay, let's wait for her. What about you, Beatrice? What do you have for James? James is sociable. Mm -hmm. And it's growing. Okay, very good. The, are you agree with her, guys, or you have something else? Noria, Marielos, the same, Grecia, okay. Generous. Generous, very good. What else, Mercy, Vane, Marielos? Mm -hmm. What you said, Vane? Sociable, so very good, excellent, yeah. All right, what about Mr. Johnson, guys? Ooh, we can mention a lot for Mr. Johnson, right? Okay, what you have for Mr. Johnson? Uh, Iris, what you have for him? We cannot hear you, Iris, sorry. Um, uh -huh, yes, there you go. Uh, sociable and easy going. Mr. Johnson. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Ah, okay, it's like a, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, temper uh, Temperamental. Uh-huh. Temperamental. Okay, very good. Uh, are you agree with with her, Noria? No, Janet. Noria, Janet. I think Janet is not here, right? And Noria either. <laughs> what about you, Mariolos? What do you have for us? Mariolos is not here, also. Oh my goodness, Mercy. What about you? I don't know. Yes, Mercy. Mercy, are you here with us? I think so, but I think she's talking with somebody else right right now. Uh huh. Janet, did you come back already or not? No, I don't think so. Right? I don't know where is she. Bane, what about you? What you have? Uh, Aha, Mr. Johnson, what you have for Mr. Johnson? Only temperamental. Temperamental, okay. Are you agree with her, Gracia? Uh, temperamental and unreliable. Uh, no, 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 unreliable. 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 Very Thank good. You. Very good. Excellent. But good try. Excellent. What about you, Juancito? What you have for Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I think um, temperamental, unreliable. And um, I think stubborn. Uh -huh. Very good. What, 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 what do you think, Bunny? Mm, I think I'm flexible. Mm-hmm. Also, very good, exactly. What do you think, Ale? Yeah, 
I mean, also a strange person. <laughs> a strange person. Yeah, it's really a strange person. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Do, which mm -hmm. one do you prefer, James, Andrea, or Mr. Johnson? James. Or neither? James. James. James, right? <laughs> yeah, of course, much better. Definitely. Okay, guys. So now that you have your homework, now just making a review. Uh, uh, you, I want you guys to think about your best friend and try to answer these questions. What is your best friend like? How long have you been best friends? Uh, how did you meet? How are you similar? And how are you different? Let me repeat it, okay? I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp, okay? The questions, just for you to take it as a guidelines. It's not as strictly that you have to answer that questions, but at least it will give you like, a, like an idea what are you going to talk about, okay? So bear with me for a moment. Let me send it to you, just for you to have it. Okay, I think I already sent it to you. Did you guys receive it? Yep? Yes. Okay, so that will be like a guidance for you. Like, uh, how can we start, okay? But also guys, I want you to use who or that and everything that we have learned so far, okay? If you're going to okay. use an adjective, remember, you gotta use the <laughs> verb to be, okay? As a priority to pronoun, as a subject. And if you're going to talk about another characteristic of the personality, you can use a have or another verb, okay? Okay, guys, any questions so far so good? Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, I know it's time to like go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, time passed really fast. You can imagine, right? Yeah. All right, yes. guys. So, well, I see you guys tomorrow. Hugs and kisses. Have a great night, okay? Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.